Hello all. In continuation to the previous conversation, I also had a chance to look at an opening what Mahindra had put in very recently at 28th November 2024. This is a opening for senior engineer trims engineering COE. What do they actually look for? They are looking for a people who can support on project delivery related to engineering and design from kick off to implementation. This is what we also discussed last time. A person an engineer is a complete engineer only when he works for the complete life cycle of the product right this starts from the benchmarking activity analysis engineering drawing and model preparation release if there is a possibility you will also validate the cae and physical support right as a design engineer you may not simulate a product but you work with simulation engineers meaning you send your product to the simulation team they will simulate them and give you feedback those feedback you will have to analyze and understand and implement the necessary changes on the design and this is what is called as uh, cae and physical validation support and then development implementation support once the design is completed you start talking with the suppliers and you develop the component dfme of course dvp of course yes so this is what they are looking out for what do you really need as a skill set here so a cad support for engineering proposals preparations in consultation with internal external supplier or experts exposure to cad modeling tools is also needed again they haven't mentioned any specific tool here because that is the context here it is not very important for a person to know multiple tools it is sufficient if you know one tool really well right so what does that mean they may be using catia as a software at mahindra but you may have worked with nx at the present company or solid works with the previous company it is still not a problem when you apply for a role when you apply for that role you may get shortlisted because tool is a medium for you to communicate your ideas right generally i used to give this as an example to a lot of students who come in contact with me if you got to develop a cylinder you will have to add a datum plane choose one of the plane go to the sketcher mode put a dot draw a circle with a particular diameter finish the sketch and the extrude right this might be the work way for you to develop a cylinder at solid works now take nx is there a, going to be any other change on your work way no now take catia is there going to be any other change on the work way to develop the cylinder again no but what is different is their ui ux right the user experience is different maybe they'll have another nomenclature in nx you call it extrude in catia you call it pad that is the only difference and this difference a design engineer can easily adopt within a week or two right so it is not very important for you to know multiple tools but what is very important is to know one tool really well right and you will have to also have experience on release of drawings and model system with the system engineer preparation of bill of materials so what components gets into your assembly what is its dimensions when i say dimensions it is not only the length and breadth it is also the thickness bill of materials will also have details about the material what this component is going to have what is going to be the thickness what is the tolerance on particular surfaces how is the cylindricity of the product how is the parallelism impacting so bill of materials is an item which will have almost all the details approximate weight of the product right with respect to the thickness material right so how do you uh, prepare this bill of materials right support to the cdmm and other implementation team for part development and quality initiatives what uh, uh, as a quality what could be a quality initiative okay for you to improve this product's quality you may have to add an additional component you may have to do some small modifications on the design to perform these kind of activities you will have to support as a design engineer to the quality team or to the field team right so this is the expectation and here they are looking out for people who have 5 to 7 years relevant in trims and this is the key area right the whatever we spoke about now is very very common to all the departments inside r&d but where are they going to recruit you now they are looking out for people 
who has experience in trims trims is nothing but interior exterior plastic interior soft components side door trim panel the plastic part what you where you put in your water bottle is a side door trim the instrument panel is a trim part the roof headliner is a trim component so this is so any person who have experience working with these components is considered relevant most probably the salary band for this particular role since it is between 5 and 7 years could be between 8 to 10 lakhs per annum right but now how will i get into these roles or what is going to be the background of the people who are getting into these kind of roles any person who had worked on a plastic component is a very eligible person to apply for this particular role any person who had worked on the quality of a plastic component is also an eligible person because those are the people who had seen the mistakes of the part for the first time these are the first set of people who sees the mistakes of the component uh, on the very initial stage right or a production person who have some little exposure to a design modeling tools or softwares design softwares would be an eligible person who has this plastic background for this particular job role more commonly what would have these guys done during this 4 or 5 years of their experience these people would have worked on at least one to two projects one to two life cycles of developing a plastic component of developing a trim part when they are specifically mentioning trim it would be very preferable if you had worked at an automotive industry already if you have worked on a passenger cars interior component or low commercial vehicles interior component or a trucks interior component right those are the people who would be preferred on the very first beginning stage but not everybody will have that level of expertise so they may also consider people who have varied exposures on production or on quality with smaller knowledge on the uh, design tools those people would also be under consideration for these kind of roles what could be another set of people who can apply right how can i reach there you could be a person who is on the r&d team of a tier 2 or tier 3 industry even though it is a production plant that production plant will also have an r&d industry you may be one of those people who had worked on the r&d of a production unit say for example caparo produces a lot of steel components caparo will have its own r&d g stamp produces a lot of stamping parts g stamp will have its own r&d team if you are a part of those particular supply base those particular tie one tie to supplier base you are also still eligible to apply because you would have developed more than two or three projects over this five years time you would have much better priority who else can apply for this anybody from engineering services industries tie one tie to service industries like tcs or scient tech mahindra tata lx those people who had worked on multiple automotive interior projects these people who had worked on engineering services for around 5 years would have been exposed to more than 3 plus plastic related projects more than 3 plus trims related projects it is highly possible that these people had worked on automotive passenger cars trims itself right so those people would be again a most eligible people for applying to these kind of roles what mahindra rice have presently posted now how do i get there what is missing on my side for me to land there it is all the projects what you get exposed to right on that note skill link can help you do these projects as a coursework on that note at skill link we have specifically developed a coursework to cater to this particular demand and that coursework is post graduate program in cat where you will be exposed to multiple materials including plastics sheet metals wiring harness etc if you are aspiring to get into companies like mahindra rai tata motors etc it is very important for you to know multiple materials and its functionalities on that note in this particular coursework you will be exposed to plastic design sheet metal design wiring harness fixtures and also lighting and seating these coursework's not only talk about the automotive component itself but it starts from the basic you will have to know the product life cycle the design life cycle the types of plastics available the engineering plastic materials 
their production processes what are all the critical and important production methodologies which is used on the automotive industry and of course you will have to also be exposed to a 3d modeling tool say for example in this instance it could be catia right and you will have to know how to do part modeling surface modeling part design 2d drawing creation etc etc and all these activities are taught to you via projects and this is what is unique in tech killing where these projects are all industry relevant projects all these coursework are explained to you via making you do multiple projects and all these projects are industry relevant say for example you will work yourself on developing a side door trim panel you will work on developing the headliner of a roof during this process you will understand the functionality of a component manufacturability of a component and assembly of a component these three aspects are real key for you to become a complete design engineer to know more detail about this coursework schedule a one on one session with my expert team and during this session my expert would verify your profile and suggest you with suitable projects which would enable you to equip yourself to get shortlisted in companies like mahindra rice thank you